Arduino 74HC595 Relay Group Control. In this video, we're going to challenge the common belief that the 74HC595 shift register is only for LED displays. I'll show you how these versatile microchips can also be used to control a large number of relays with ease. Plus, we'll test their signal switching speed on the outputs for some cool results. However, in this video, I want to demonstrate that shift registers are also ideal for controlling a large number of relays. It is also interesting to test these microchips for their signal switching speed on the outputs. For variety, I took one 8-channel relay module, as well as one 8-channel MOSFET transistor module. This is a module with transistors that can switch high-current direct loads such as collector motors, actuators, electromagnets, LEDs, and others. Here is the diagram of my device. We see the Arduino Nano controller here. Any other controller can be used instead. The relay module and the MOSFET transistor module do not directly occupy any controller pins. They are controlled by two 74HC595 shift register modules, which in turn take up four digital pins of the Arduino Nano. I will explain why not three pins, as in diagrams with LEDs, when I break down the program. For software control of shift registers, it is recommended to use the standard shift-out function from the Arduino IDE library. The program here is lengthy because there are many different relay states. Here, the pin numbers for controlling the 74HC595 are declared. This is a very interesting part of the program. It is responsible for smoothly turning on the shift registers. The thing is, Many controller pin expanders behave unpredictably when voltage is applied during power-up. For example, if the OE module output is simply connected to the common wire, as in all LED control circuits, we will get the following result. Here's another example. This part of the sketch sets the initial logical level values on the outputs of the shift registers. It sends a low enable signal to the OE pin only after these values have been written to the registers. For the relay module, you need to set ones first so that all relays are off, and for the MOSFET module, you need zeros for the off state. Next, set the desired bit values on the outputs of the 74HC595 for controlling relays and power transistors. After each change in the bits in the outs 0 and outs 1 bytes, I call the funk out function and add a delay. In this function, the latch pin is reset to 0, then the second byte goes to shift out, followed by the first byte in sequence, and the latch pin is set to 1, allowing the registers to output their data to the outputs. That's the whole function. The number of shift out lines here should equal the number of 74 HC595 microchips used, connected in series. And here is the complete result of the sketch. As you can see, the relays behave predictably without contact bounce during power-up. Smooth activation works. Everything is working according to the script. This is proof that it is convenient to control large arrays of relays with shift registers. Now let's find out how quickly we can switch loads using 74HC595 and Arduino Nano. I'm curious if we can use shift registers to control the brightness of LEDs, for example. Here's my sketch to answer these questions. This is toggling the latch pin to low. I'm doing this directly through the register to save time. The latch is also toggled to high by accessing the input-output register. I will control the duty cycle of the PWM signal on the module's pins using delays if necessary. But that's if everything works out. And the last delay will also work for changing the duty cycle of the PWM signal to control the brightness of the LED. In general, now I should get the minimum brightness of the LEDs on the power modules if the switching speeds are sufficient. And here is the result of the program execution. I disconnected the power to the relay coils to prevent them from clicking. We can see almost full illumination of the LEDs, perhaps slightly dimmer than usual, so PWM control won't work. I also connected an oscilloscope to one of the pins of the 74HC595 module to measure the switching speed. Here we can see a minimum duration of 190 microseconds, which is quite long for LEDs. It may be enough for PWM motor control, but it won't be sufficient to turn off LEDs completely. 
However, such duration may be enough for other tasks when working with LEDs, for example, to save power. In conclusion, I would like to say that I really enjoyed working with shift registers, even though I had to take four pins from the controller instead of three. Previously, I only worked with I2C input-output expanders which often have issues with freezing. However, theoretically, 74HC595 shift register should not have any freezing issues. The barrier for beginners to use these modules may be the lack of understandable examples on the internet, especially for working with two or more of these chips. I have even come across examples with errors in the program, but in my sketches, I tried to make everything clear. A pleasant bonus is that 74HC595 chips are among the most affordable and inexpensive ones. Another bonus is that there are similar shift registers that work as discrete inputs. So, you can also expand the number of inputs of your controller. Thank you for watching the video. Visit my website arduino-engineer.com and see you soon.